What's up, I'm Akosi Network. Welcome to the channel. Today we're chatting about the new player that has been promoted at KZ Chiefs. And we just give you a little insight about what's happening at our team, our beloved KZ Chiefs. But before we get into that, please like, comment and subscribe. And please, 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 guys, join the channel. Subscribe, subscribe. And remember the KZ Chiefs Keeper competition. If you don't know, ask some board. But anyway, let's get into it. KZ Chiefs, basically has decided all well, the management let me say abo nabi have decided to promote another player he plays with his left foot he was in our ddc his name is oh uh, uh, he's a midfielder his name is tulani mabaso he was playing in the ddc i have seen a, a bit of him not enough of him a bit of him um i can't really say i didn't really like our ddc midfield i'd be lying to you there's no one from our ddc midfield who i really 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 liked so i cannot say like abo ramoshu and all these guys i didn't like him i know there's a, a number six that a lot of people have been raving about but i still feel like he 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 hasn't shown me enough for me to really be excited about him. So there's that. But you know what? A, a pro promoted player means that Nabi and Dem saw something special about the boy. So let's see what happens there. But other than that, in terms of Chiefs news, we all know Velibai's story. We all know what's happening with Cape Town Spurs. And I was listening to the Andy Lengube uh, chat with the, the CEO um, of uh, e Cape Town Spurs. And what the guy said for me didn't make sense. For example, he said they they basically... He basically was kind of saying that Vili Bay must be... Um, rate was must be rated at the same price as old Dortley. and I said that's very wrong. We don't the a uh, club can't say this player is worth whatever. The market determines how good you are, and this is why I'm getting to this because Dortley, before he was even turning 22, before he even played in the PSL, this guy was wanted overseas by big teams overseas. They wanted him. He was touted to be one of the next best young players. No one knew about Veli Bay at this point. That's what I'm trying to emphasize. Then totally, I think even went for trials overseas, if I'm not mistaken. But Chiefs wanted him from that time. So in the NFD, Chiefs wanted him because he was touted to be a tall young center back who is very good and stuff like that. But no one really knew about Velibai in the NFD. No one. Velibai only popped up now in the PSL when he played in the DFS TV Prem. That is when everyone was like, hey man, who is this boy? This boy looks like he's talent. So now you cannot value. Velibai and Dotley. Dotley was already doing wonders at the age of 18. Velibai was not. He has started sh uh, showing his skill now. So that's why I say in that end, some of these CEOs, the points that they come and make against Chiefs are very, they don't make sense, guys. Like, for example, he's saying that the price, which apparently is about 8 million that they want Chiefs to bring for Velibai. They say this comes because they've developed a boy since he was about like 11 or something like that. And they took transport to take him to his house. And they used to um, give him food and training and all of those things that come up to developing a player. And now they want um, money back for all of those things. And I'm like, guys, let us be honest. When you go to FC Porto, let's, let's talk about... Uh, some of the clubs that have produced some of the best players. Let's talk about not FC Porto. Let's say Sporting Lisbon, where Cristiano Ronaldo and Abonani were there. Can you tell me that when Manchester went to go by Cristiano Ronaldo and all of these guys, I'm sure there were players, if Cristiano was worth, let's say, 18 million at the time at Sporting Lisbon, I'm sure there was a player who was worth, nine, was worth 200k, but the team had developed him and taken him through all the trainings and stuff like that. And this, and if they had to just ask for all of the money they used to develop this player, they probably should have been asking for maybe $5 million. But because the player hasn't shown the qualities to be worth a $5 million player, they're going to sell him for maybe at most $2 million. Because maybe they produced him for for five they produced him for five million, but the player is not good enough for a market value of five million. Then maybe they sell him for two million around about there. I'm trying to make an example off the top of my head. Another example is if Chiefs went and developed Unkosing Pile Ngobo from under thirteen until um his level now at Chiefs. When Chiefs now sells Ungobo to the next team, Chiefs cannot tell the next team, let's say the next team is going to be um, 
Cape Town City. Let's say Cape Town City wants to buy Unko Simpile Ngop. Chiefs cannot say now we developed Unko Simpile. Or let's not even say Unko Simpile Ngop because he's actually a good player. He would be worth this man. Let's say Sabelo Khatebe. Let's say Chiefs develop Sabelo Khatebe from under 13. Now Chiefs has to sell Sabelo Khatebe. Uh, to Cape Town City, Osikukune, etc., etc. Now, do you make sense that if Chiefs believes that they've spent so much money, that is, uh, uh, that is the same as how Cape Town, City, Cape Town Spurs have produced, and they should be recouping $8 million. Now, let me ask you, which the person in their right mind would sign Usabelo Khadebe for $8 million rand? Minimum. It's not possible. Number one is this. When you build an academy, you build it knowing there will be hit and misses. Meaning, you can't now expect that one player that looks kind of good, you must go and tell the club to pay all of the biggest monies in the world for this player. No, that's why in deals for young players, you need to add, you don't ask for the full price up front. That price must come in how you structure, structure the deal. For example, when you go and sign Oveli Bay, you can, as Chiefs, if Chiefs offers 6 million, Cape Town Spurs should take 6 million. I'm not even saying 4 million because 4 million is too small. If Chiefs went to Cape Town Spurs offering them 4 million, that is for me too small. As, yeah, like there, there's certain values that I don't even think big teams like Chiefs should even be thinking about. 5 to 6 million, let's say Chiefs goes and offers that for value buy. Sharp Chiefs um goes and offers five to six million. But let's say Velibai has so much talent that he will one day cost um Chiefs will one day sell him for 30 million. What then e Cape Town Spurs needs to do in the deal is to say, okay, guys, thank you for this six million, but we think Uveli Bai is worth over 10 million, but it's fine. You guys can just give us a a 20% of whatever you sell him for to the next team. Then what happens is that when Chiefs goes and sells uh, Uveli Bay to the next team, they will go to that next team and say, look, uh, 20% of the sell-on fee belongs to another team. So we want you to already make, like, may create an amount that will help us already pay that team off with that percentage so we can know that we're not getting less than what we want. Sharp. That's how you structure a deal. But... I don't know why Chiefs is not making these things. And also another thing is that how you sweeten this deal is Cape Town Spurs is going to be playing in the NFT. We have a lot of DDC players who I think will be good enough for, for the NFT. So maybe loan them to uh, Cape Town Spurs. And a lot of you, I always repeat this, know that I don't believe in sending uh, players to the to the NFT because there's no structure. The in NFT is just not a good league. So a player doesn't really get developed. But for players that are playing in the DDC, right, in the DDC, for players who are, like, very raw and stuff like that, playing against maybe older players may help them improve instead of playing against their peers. So, for example, a Chiefs uh, could have t- can take the next Mfundo Villegazi, who's maybe 17, and send him to Cape Town Spurs to try promote Cape Town Spurs. I'm not saying our Mfundo Villagazi Wamanji. I'm saying if there is one who is coming up at Chiefs, they can take that boy and say, go spend the season at Cape Town Spurs and help them get promoted. Sharp. That's what you do. That boy will be exposed to um, older players, uh, faster play instead of the NFD, uh, the DDC kind of thing. That will help them. But if it's a player that's already part of the first team and a player that has... That, that you really, really, really believe in, I don't think they should go to the DDC because it won't help them. Those players need to just go to smaller leagues in Europe just to get their basics right. I'm a cause for life. Bye,